Hey, today I'm going to be showing you three very easy, very minimal nail designs that are going to be perfect for any of the upcoming holidays. So prior to filming this, I actually put some pretty janky nail extensions on. I'll have a video about how I did this coming up soon, but that's why my nails look this way. So for the first look, we're going to be doing a matte marble design. And to start, I'm applying a layer of this sheer white polish, but it actually works really great for marble designs. And I also applied a little dab of that to tin foil along with a dark gray polish. And I mix that together to start building up some shades of gray for the marble. So I started with a lighter shade and as you can see I'm just roughly painting that over the white nail. Not trying to do any sort of pattern. You want this to be irregular. And then off camera I'm adding a little bit more of that dark gray into that white polish to make a darker gray and then I'm going over the spots here and there. And then after I'm happy with this pattern I'm actually going to apply one more layer of that sheer white over top to really add depth. And then the last step I do after that dries, I go back in with a little bit darker of a gray polish and just go over some of the fine veining just to add extra detail. On the other nails, I applied two coats of this really pretty dark charcoal gray polish and I let that dry. And then I'm gonna go in with some rose gold striping tape. I finished with a layer of matte top coat because I just think long nails and dark polish look so good with that matte finish, but you can always use a glossy top coat if you prefer. For the next design, I'll be painting one of my nails black. Actually, I think I painted my pinky and my thumb black. And then I'm going to paint another nail white and the remaining nails or the last nail I am using a beige color. And then I'm just taking some black polish on a thin striping brush and I'm just painting the line right down my nail. I'm actually doing it offset a little bit because I think it adds a little more interest and that's it. Super easy, but it looks so cool and modern and I love the mix and match of colors, especially because they're neutral. If you're gonna try any of these and you're not confident with your nail art skills, try this one. And if you get any wiggly or wobbly lines, don't worry about it. You can always go back over it with your base color to sharpen that line up. I popped on a matte top coat and that's it. I just love how this turned out. I think it looks so cool and I'm definitely gonna try wearing it again when I'm not filming. And last but not least, we have a classic manicure. For this, I'm going to paint three quarters of my nail. I don't know how to gauge the ratio of these extensions but I'm leaving a little bit of that cuticle area showing and I did do it in a straight line and I'm gonna do two coats of that. I also did this design on my pointer finger, index, and pinky nail. Then I'm gonna grab that rose gold striping tape and apply that to the polish line horizontally across those nails. On the other nails, I'm gonna be applying some accent colors. For this one, I'm using a berry shade. And then on my ring finger nail, I'm gonna apply some glitter because everyone knows you have to wear glitter polish on the holidays. I finished with matte top coat on the solid colored nails and that's it. I feel like that design's gonna be a favorite for a lot of you because it's classic but it's modern. If you decide to give any of these looks a try, I would love to see your recreations and you can just tag me in all your pictures on Instagram at jauntyjulie. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can just click any of these little boxes on your screen. And as always, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.